so hey guys welcome to another video so today's makeup just started and i'm going to start by priming my eyelid space and i'm using concealer to do this primer just helps your eye shadow last all day and it will just have a bare canvas to start with so that each colors you're using are going to pop we're going to be using two brush three brushes for this whole look you need an eyeshadow brush and those two blending brush i'm starting with my powder palette and i just like to make it as a transition color all over my lid it makes eyeshadow blend better in my opinion i'm starting with this eyeshadow i got from an instagram store called the brown brows beauty store and i'm using that orange shade over there i'm just going to be popping this at the middle of my eyes which is the crease between the eyebrow bone and your eyelid space i'm going to be putting as much intensity till i get the desired look that i like so next i'm taking the second brush and i'm just using it to brush the top part of this eyeshadow so everything is blended you don't want it to look harsh there's no product on this brush i'm just using it to lighten that color this is my personal eyeshadow palette called the boss girl palette and i'm using this black shadow from there and i'm putting it on my eyelid space i'm creating a moon shaped effect because i have hooded eyes which is a small eyelid space so i'm giving the impression that i have a bigger eyelid by cutting this moon like shape if that makes any sense and just extending it away higher than my normal eyelid space that i have so after doing it, I'm going into the, that brush we used to apply the orange shadow and I'm using it to blend the edge of the black eyeshadow into the orange eyeshadow, if that makes any sense. Because you don't want anybody to be able to tell where your eyeshadow begins from and where it starts from. I'm taking a long time to blend. I took my time. So I'm showing you blending is key in eyeshadow application. You want to make sure you blend everything properly next i'm going into this pigment i got from the same instagram store and i'm just using it to make the black color pop more this is very good for date nights or evening outings or date nights or dinners or parties it's just going to give this glitter effect and make everything pop more i'm priming my lashes and i'm priming my face with this metifying classic primer i'm mixing two foundations because i love the combination of these two foundations they give my skin just just wait to see this glow they give my skin this healthy glow that i love so much so i'm just addicted you always see me going in with these two foundations and as usual if you have conversations with my tutorials i like to use a beauty blender to just make sure everything is blended inside so highlight my face i'm using the maybelline foundation i use foundation to, to highlight my face again if you are used to my tutorials you know i do this i just love maybelline superstar foundation and as usual i'm blending everything in so they are well blended and to set i use baby powder <laughs> you have conversant with my tutorials again you know i use baby powder to set because it just works and i love the i love the finish all these things bring for me i make it work you don't have to break the bank to start a basic makeup and just have a makeup kit or something i am going to see how everything comes together so i'm fixing my lashes this lashes spoiled this makeup tutorial for me for some reasons this eye was refusing to just fix in properly but we still nailed it though so i'm going in with my powder palette which was the one i used initially and i'm kind of doing a counter contour effect you saw my highlights with the foundation was extremely light so i beat that one contour i used my powder to contour instead of contouring so i'm using the excess powder to just clean off the dust of the setting powder underneath my eye and everywhere so it just comes together to give this natural glowing healthy looking look <laughs> so i'm using this blossom glow kit from a blossom cosmetics brand and i'm just applying my highlights i like to do little ticks and tricks with my highlight to give this illusion again of a glowing healthy skin i put it at the highest point of my cheeks the highest point of my nose drag the rest down my nose i do this thing with my forehead where 
I just simply highlight the highest point of my forehead. I just slightly dust the highlight over my forehead. And if you do this, it will just give the illusion you have the biggest forehead. You know, they say girls with big foreheads, they are really cute. I'm using my Maybelline Colossal Kajal. I don't even know that the spelling of Colossal. Underneath my eyes, and I'm going to be using that orange orange eyeshadow we used initially to just smoke out that Kajal. Please like this video if you like it below. It makes me very happy. I'm going into that Blossom Cosmetics and I'm really highlighting between my eyes, uh, the inner corners of the eyes. And that lashes have started acting up. I'm taking this red blush. I love extremely red blushes that are deep. And I'm just adding more depth to underneath my cheeks so it looks more natural. You see the way everything comes together instead of adding contour. Sometimes you don't need everything everything and all things to do my lips i'll be lining my lips i'm using davis eyebrow pencil and i'm just making sure i blend everything together i'm also using this nick soft matte lip cream i've had since forever in the inner corner just at the center of my lips i'm applying it a lot because i'm still going to blend it out and i'm using this random lip gloss my friend gifted to me and i'm using this pink lip gloss my sister gifted to me to me you just have to do whatever you want to do don't mind me i love to mix lipsticks and lip glosses together that's my stocking trait i love it when i go out and people are like hey, your lips is beautiful what color do you have and i'm like there are many it just makes you look artistic i feel that's the fun of makeup that's the where your creativity can come in mix so much to get what you want and i'm saying please don't forget to comment below say something below I'm using mascara on my bottom lashes so it stands out and my eyes are more open. And yeah, that completes the look. How did we go? Do you like it? Very easy, just two step eyeshadow, simple, beginner friendly, everything you need to think about. Very fast if you're in a hurry for that dinner, that date night, that party. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment below, just say something nice. I'm waiting to read your comment and reply to you. And until next time, see you.